What's going on, family? This video is sponsored by Slab City Jigs. Be sure to go to slabcityjigs.com and pick you up some of the 903 Fishing Signature Series on the website. Coulter is ready to go over there, and these jigs absolutely catch crappie in the fall and winter in the creeks. I hope you all are ready to see them in action. Y'all stay tuned. What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Welcome back to another episode, guys. We're gonna be doing some creek crappie fishing today, but I am back at the spot that had the beaver dam. Now, if you haven't watched that first video, I'm gonna link it at the very end of this video. Be sure to go check it out. So I came here again, one, of course, to catch some creek crappie, but another reason why I came is to see this beaver dam, to see what it looks like, and if it's gone or has these beavers been working overtime and trying to stop my creek crappie fishing? And guess what? Look at this beaver dam. That sucker is thicker than it was the last time I was here. Way more trees, way more logs. And guys, I don't know. I guess beavers have some superpowers because I don't see how they're picking up some of these big old logs right here. But we're here in the creek today. And guess what? I've already have the kayak past the beaver dam. So we're gonna make our way up this way and we're gonna see if there's any more crappie. Now, once again, the crappie cannot get past this beaver dam. The bait fish cannot get past this beaver dam as well. So our best bet is to go right past it in this deeper hole over here and to see if there's any crappie there. But I do appreciate y'all for clicking on this video. If you haven't, smash that like button. YouTube loves when you like and comment, so be sure to leave me a comment down below on what you think about this beaver dam right here. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting. Means the world to me. Thank you so much. If you're not subscribed and you love crappie fishing, whether it be from the boat bank, kayak, or even past the beaver dam, smash that subscribe button, come join the family. You won't regret it. And y'all be sure to stay tuned at the end of this video. I'm gonna give you an even closer look at this beaver dam right here. And I'm gonna show you how shallow the water is. These beavers have literally clogged up this creek. And it is amazing to me that the work that they can do. But we're about to make our way past the beaver dam. I already have the kayak past it, but we're gonna go ahead and paddle down here. We're gonna see if we can't get on some creek crappie. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all already know guys, today I got my 6.6 ACC crappie sticks one piece right here. I love this rod in the creeks, whether I'm in the kayak or on the bank. And we have the Carbon X 500 right here from PC Fun. Be sure to go to PCFun.com, use code 903FISH15. That's going to save you 15% off of your order. And of course, we're slip corking today with those 903 Fishing Signature Series Slab City Jigs right here. Be sure to go to SlabCityJigs.com. And that is what we're using to catch these crappie today. Three small guys. So far, I've caught three small black crappie. Oh, okay. Change that. Change that. We got a good one. Yes, sir. Dang, that's a black crappie, guys. Holy smokes. That's a black crappie. That's going to be a keeper right there. Let me get my checker right here. Shoot. That's a, over 11 inches, guys. Let's go. We got over 11 inches. That's a good fish. Oh, come on, dude. I'm sorry, man, but I got you. I got you, dude. There we go. Put him on stringer. Ooh, this water is so muddy. Muddy, muddy, muddy. All right, guys. Well, might have figured something out here. I'm not quite sure yet. 
I went a little bit deeper and started catching fish. Not much deeper, just a little bit. Still haven't caught one of those big whites that are I know can get in here. They may just not be in here. Oh gosh. Oh, I just got nailed. Oh, I got nailed. What is that? Hey. Hey, there's a white. He's in the boat. He's in the kayak, I should say. Is that a white? That is a white crappie. Hey, guys, that's going to be a keeper as well. Not a giant, but hey, that's another 11 incher. Thick, too. This one's thick. Okay, guys, we may be on to something here. You know what? Even if I don't run across any of them big white crappie, that's okay. I know we got two keepers on Stringer. Let's go, baby. Now that one was more closer to the bank and I'm deeper, so that's interesting. They might be on that drop off over there. I don't know, let's, I don't know. He hit that, he did. Okay, I don't know if this is a keeper, it might be. Oh, it is, well. Uh, I think it is. That's a keeper all day, baby. Not a giant, but it's a keeper. First video you're watching, guys. I'm in Texas. And these crappie got to be 10 inches. We're back in the creek today. And another 11 incher. Exactly 11, guys. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. We got three 11 inches, and I mean, they're all like exactly 11 inches. That's crazy. All three of them exactly 11. That's interesting. Here we go, guys. Let's see if we can get another one. All right. Well, that was kind of crazy, guys. Over by the bank, I know there's some logs and stuff over there really don't want to get hung up on them but probably more than likely that's what them crappie are relating to over there oh gosh there he is he came right off the log i don't know how big he is oh 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 okay all right we're rolling we're cooking couldn't tell how big he was but look at that guys that is another keeper fish i think this one I think we may have broke our 11 inch curse here. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, guys. I don't know. Let's see what he's looking like. Oh, yeah, that's 12. That's 12 inches. We broke the 11 inch curse, guys. We got a 12 inch crappie. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, guys, caught four. I think that's four, right? Four keepers? Yep. Four keepers in about 10 minutes. You never know, guys. Let's keep on rolling with them, baby. So all I had to do was go a little deeper. See, guys, last video, I know you recognize this spot. This is the beaver dam spot right here. And I got something to show y'all in this video as well. Good gosh. Uh-oh. Oh, what do we got? We got a tank? We might have a tank. Uh, not a tank, but it's a keeper fish. Wow, guys. Here we go. Look at there. That's a little keeper white crappie. That's probably back in that, that 11 inch range, I would assume. Oh, 11 and a half, baby. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Five keepers. Pretty quick, too. I didn't know if the crappie would still be in this spot. Now, I'm not catching those giants like I was in the last video. But, 
Hey guys, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be catching creek crappie right now. I really don't care how big they are. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. Five on a stringer. Some good eating right there from the creek. And we're gonna keep going, guys. Y'all y'all stay tuned. Let's see how many more we can pull off this spot right here. All right, guys. I'm also using thump gel today. I'm telling you, I know y'all see this muddy creek and it's to me it in my opinion it's even muddier than it was the last time i was here and this thump gel one it's going to give it that little sparkle but more importantly this thump gel going to give it that smell okay and i've mentioned this in past videos i think that thump gel smells like shad that's what i think it smells like and these crappie love it they really do love it so oh look guys guys there's witness right there guys i just put that thump gel on and cast it out i didn't move my cork and i think we have a keeper fish right here so if you're not picking up thump gel look at that look at that that is a nice fish look i just put that thump gel on and cast it out i didn't even move the the jig guys look at that i mean i didn't even move the jig I mean, not a giant, but it's a keeper. That's probably close to that 12 inch range. 11 and a half. <laughs> if you don't got that thump gel, you're missing out guys. Thumpgel.com. Use code 903. That's going to save you 10% over there on the website at thumpgel.com. But look at there guys. There's six keepers. Didn't even move it. Didn't even move the jig. You can't tell me that thump gel. And then look, there's still thump gel on it. I didn't even think it would be that deep over there. Oh, look, look. There he is. Oh, he got big all of a sudden. He got big. Oh, is this the biggest of the day? It is. Oh, guys, we got a toad hammer hammer that's what i've been waiting on baby let's go i don't know how i got him in the bottom bottom of the lip but hey guys <laughs> biggest of the day started using that thump gel again baby let's go that's a good fish no measurement needed on this one let's go baby all right guys that's seven starting to compile a little bag of fish there there's seven for you baby let's go man that thump gel is legit y'all already know slabcityjigs.com i got the black and monkey milk for this dirty dirty water and it's working Just like last video, guys, I'm, I'm really having to slow down how I work that bait so them crappie can see the bait. Oh, there's another one. I don't think it's that big. Oh, ah, that might be a keeper, guys. My first couple of fish I caught were non-keeper black crappie. I, I don't think that's going to keep. I don't. Nope, he's just under 10. We're going to put that one back. But yeah, guys, my first couple of fish were small black crappie. Didn't really know if there was any keepers there. Oh, oh, he hit it. Feels like a better fish. Oh, and it is. Look at there, guys. There's a keeper black. That one was a little bit closer to me. I think that's going to be a keeper. Oh, yeah. Ten and a half, almost 11 inches, guys. Nice. Let's go. Usually, you could tell by the way they hit. A keeper fish is going to hit different than a non-keeper usually not always it just depends but there's eight 
Let's go, baby. Eight keepers on the stringer. And guess what, guys? I've probably caught about 20 fish, maybe. Tw about 20. Maybe 21, 22, but, you know, I've caught a lot of smalls today. But that right there is only my second bait, my second soft plastic that I've used. So, you know, two plastics over 20 fish, that's not bad at all. All right, guys, so I haven't gotten bit in a while. When I mean a while, I say 15 minutes, okay? So what I'm going to do is I am going to switch baits here. I'm going to switch colors, okay? So I've been catching them on the black and monkey milk. I'm going to change over to the white. I mean, you never know. They may be seeing that same jig over and over, and they just don't want it. So we're going to switch over to a white. White is also another good color to use in a muddy creek. So we're going to go to white now. Could be good. It may not work. It may not do anything, but it might. And that's, that's, that's what you got to think, that you know, there's a chance changing colors may not work at all. But then on the flip side of that, if you've been throwing something at these crappie over and over and over and they didn't hit it the first 20 times they saw it, they're probably not going to hit it the 21st. I also have dark blue as well. Dark blue is a good color for this water too. Look at there. Guys, first cast with the white. Changing baits. Look. I don't know if that's a keeper. I, I don't think it is, but change in baits. It's not. It's not a keeper, but hey, first cast. I'm talking about I didn't get bit for 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and then I'm, I changed baits. That's all I did was change colors. That could matter. I just got nailed. Look at that shad busting right here. Oh gosh, he's on. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. Yes. Come here, baby. Don't come off. Oh. Oh my gosh. Well, there's there, that's what we've been waiting on, guys. <laughs> that's what we've been waiting on. Oh, geez. It is a freaking giant. That was right there. Look at the back on that fish. Wow, there is a few more here. That is a big fish, guys. That is a, that's almost a 14. It's about a 13 and a half incher. That's a stud. Good for any creek right there. All right, guys, well, there was at least one more. Now, I had just got bit right before that, but no way, that's, that was the same fish. Do you think so? No way that was the same fish. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Oh, it wasn't the same fish. Oh my goodness. That was another giant. Oh gosh. There he is. Uh oh. Oh guys, we got a tank. I didn't know if he, he hit it, but I didn't see. He sure didn't take the cork. Well, not a tank. It ain't a tank. It's a keeper. It's a keeper fish. Nice, guys. Okay. So guess what, guys? At the beginning of this video, I was catching fish over here on the left side. 
over here on the left. Now I've, now I've started to catch fish over here to the right. Interesting. That's a keeper, guys. This one is going to be running. Ten and a half, almost 11. There we go, baby. Hey, guys, that's going to be pretty sure that's 10 on the stringer. Look at there, guys. That's 10. 10 Creek Crappie. Can't complain, baby. I wonder if there's any more of them big ones. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. Sorry for no hook set. Wasn't really expecting that. But there we go. Now I'm going to get all messed up and lose my spot. Hey, guys, look at that. That's a keeper fish all day. Sorry for the hook set. I think that's the first one. I think that's the first hook set I've missed today. Just wasn't really expecting it, but look at that stringer, guys. Putting some work in at the creek, baby. Well, let's go see if there's another one. What's going on, family? We are about to end this fishing trip right here, but I wanted to show you guys this beaver dam like I said I would in the intro. It's absolutely crazy to me. So I'm gonna flip this camera around to let you see. Look at this guys. Look, here are the fish we ended up with. Ended up with 12 crappie today, right past the beaver dam. And guys, I'm gonna try my best not to fall, but I'm gonna walk out on this beaver dam for you guys. And look at this. This is insane. So look, I'm in the middle of the creek right now. There's the kayak, there's the fish over here. I am in the middle of the creek on this beaver dam. Now let me show you guys something. Look, that right there is land. That is the creek. So I can walk out here on this right here. This is in the middle of the creek. Look at this absolutely insane right here so these these beavers have literally dammed this up and guys i don't know if you can see it or not i can try to get a better look look how much higher the water is on the other side of the beaver dam compared to this side of the beaver dam these crappie cannot get past it and neither can the bait fish now i'm not saying some crappie haven't made their way up you know earlier before this was here but right now you're not getting past this dam you are not getting past this dam it is absolutely crazy to me so there you have it guys these beavers have basically shut this creek off and this will probably be the last time that i come to this creek until we get a massive rain to maybe knock this thing out but I just don't see it happening to be honest with you. I'm sinking in the mud here. I need to get off this thing. I need to go ahead and get off. Oh no. I am back on the beaver dam here. I'm gonna walk back over. Let's take another look at these these crappie right here. I wasn't able to catch as many as last time, but here they are right here again. Some of them are really nice fish really nice crappie guys so a couple of blacks couple of whites mainly white crappie but i did catch a lot of non-keeper black crappie as well well guys that is going to wrap up this video if you did enjoy this video be sure to hit that like button youtube likes when you like and comment so be sure to leave me a comment down as well but like i mentioned guys this is probably going to be my last time coming to this creek until we get a massive rain like I said, to maybe wipe out this beaver dam. And I don't even know if that's gonna do it. It's gonna have to be some heavy, heavy flow to knock this sucker out. My 6.6 ACC Crappie Sticks One Piece did the job today with those 903 Fish and Stinger Series from Slab City Jigs. All of the information for ACC, PC Fun, and Slab City Jigs will be in the description of this video. So be sure to check that out. And don't forget to check out the first video that I was here when I actually discovered this beaver dam. It will be linked at the very end of this video. So be sure to check that out. 
Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.